Hello, my strong. Welcome to Andrew Asks. I'm here with Dr. Jonathan Lee of Hello the again. Aesthetic Studio. And today we're talking about a new treatment called Silfirm X. And Dr. Lee's going to give us the download on this non invasive facial treatment. Um, tell us, Dr. Lee, who is this treatment for? Well, let me first say that uh, what it is first. The Silfram X is a microneedling device. So, um, but you know, this is a this is a quite a, uh, a large category now of microneedling devices, and this is a microneedling device that uh, delivers uh, radio frequency energy at very precise depths underneath the skin, and. Um, even in this category, there's uh, quite a lot of machines, but what makes the Silfram X particularly unique in that category is that they can do very gentle treatments as well as do um, higher energy bulk heating treatments. So we can treat multiple problems in the same sitting. Um, where, why we've implemented in our practice the Silfram X in particular is because we find actually those uh, lower dose, precise, pulsed wave uh, delivery uh, of radio frequency allows us an extra modality to treat very difficult problems um, which don't require that sort of blunderbuss high energy treatments. They actually we need to be very delicate about um, treating these conditions. Treat, treat uh, conditions such as melasma, for example, which is what? a pigmentary condition, mm -hmm. um, but has it's it's a very it's it's often prone to rebound and recurrences. So this pigmentation keeps coming back again and again after it's been treated. Um, and and it, it does so because there's so many, it's, a, it's multifactorial, there's so many influences, hormonal, age, um, lifestyle choices, sun exposure, right. any kind of irritation makes the skin extremely prone to inflammation and production of new pigmentation. The dark, just darker patches, darker areas. Yes, very face. cloudy, patchy, right. uneven pigmentation in the skin. Okay. So uh, it's, it's really given us an additional tool to treat melasma, not as a replacement for uh, our other conventional treatments like lasers and prescription topical medications, but um, it treats the condition at a different level, normalizing the skin physiology and making it less prone to inflammation. And that has been really uh, quite unique and pivotal to us seeing better results with our melasma treatment. It is also particularly good at treating rosacea, for example, by re again reducing that, those inflammatory processes in the skin. Uh, normalizing the size of those micro, microscopic blood vessels in the skin. Um, <clears throat> to reduce these red, redness and flushing that is again uh, quite a common problem and a, a problem that uh, gets progressively worse with age. Um, in addition to that, we can do uh, skin refinement treatments like very fine lines, pore size reduction. And then on the other side of the spectrum where we, we need to deliver continuous wave uh, radio frequency energy underneath the skin to stimulate collagen, uh, promote skin tightening uh, uh, and skin firming treatments like uh, jawline contouring, improving of fine lines, treatment of uh, scars, <coughs> uh, reduction of pore size for example, and just improving skin texture. We, we also have that uh, uh, at, the, you know, at the turn of a dial. Right. So it's really, it does require a little bit of experience because you also don't want to apply bulk heating to areas that are sensitive to heat, like the melasma prone areas. So, but um, with a bit of experience, we're, we're able to titrate each different um, part of the face with different energies, and we can do, we can treat multiple problems in a single treatment. And I think that's why we're quite excited about this new technology. So you could, so if I had, for example, melasma, rosacea, and um, some fine lines that I wanted mm. to refine a little bit, soften a little bit. You could in in the same at the same time that I come in one session. You could use the machine at different levels to treat all of those things. Yes, and we could do a number of sessions yes. to work towards so, working on all of those things. Yes, together. yes, absolutely. So. <clears throat> um, 
we do a consultation, we list out the priorities, yeah. and then we plan a treatment. Um, the, um, bear in mind though that for treatments like melasma, we're not saying it's a single treatment that's required. It is a series of low dose treatments that right. ultimately restore uh, some of the physiology, the dysfunctional physiology in the skin. Mm -hmm. uh, with bulk heating treatments, where um, you know, say skin tightening around the jawline um, or maybe around the eye areas for, for the for static crow's feet or static wrinkles. Um, fewer treatments, but um, they do cause, here we want to bulk heat so they cause a bit more redness. We would um, plan out the year and make sure we explain this to patients. So uh, melasma prone areas, we cannot deliver high energy. So if there's a, um, if there is, a, there are competing concerns, we, we obviously want to take care of the uh, the most pressing one first. So lower energies for the pigmented areas that are, are prone to inflammation and then we can right. give higher energies uh, in the same sitting yeah. uh, but avoiding the sensitive areas. So yes, we can we can treat multiple problems in the same sitting but we have to be a little bit careful about the planning. Right, so um, you talked about the kind of more uh, visual problems, melasma, hyperpigmentation, mm -hmm. and also some of the other kind of overall things that it can improve. So pore size, yes. fine lines, yes. fine wrinkles. Yes. So, so it does improve the overall uh, visual aspect. Yes, I think well. that is uh, something we've also learned as we've implemented the machine and getting feedback from patients is that the general feedback is their skin looks healthier and fairer the texture, the pores uh, seem to shrink a little bit and everything just looks more even. And so this is, um, uh, what, what I take from that is that we can actually treat multiple age groups as well. So right. younger patients who are wanting low downtime procedures um, can be doing this on a regular basis just to, to keep their skin in good health and the texture um, refinements that they, they see, they, it, you can generally feel results in about one to two treatments and see results in about three or four treatments and the treatments are usually can be as close as three to four weeks apart uh, or spaced out for maintenance at uh, three months or four months apart um, and then we're also treating older patients who then would have multiple issues um, with uh, redness some rosacea um, uh, melasma or, or, or hormonally related pigmentation, sunspots, and, and also uh, creepy skin and, and deeper lines. So we'd be treating different age groups, but we would plan the treatment differently. So there is something in it for everyone. Um, so although I think one, one common, uh, because it involves needles, sometimes patients ask us, um, if it's uncomfortable, but mm. uh, you know, I, it, the needles are very fine and the delivery is very smooth. And uh, depending on the treatment, so if we're treating with pulse wave treatments where the energy delivery is relatively mild uh, and at very shallow depths that we need to treat, say rosacea and melasma, it is uh, virtually painless. Uh, and then it ranges to like a little bit of. Um, prickly sensation if we're delivering heavier energies for collagen stimulation like around the neck for jawline contouring or treatment of deeper lines around the eyes or, or a deeper scar, acne scar treatments for example. Um, and, and again the lighter treatments we can deliver this energy very precisely so that there's virtually no redness at the end of the procedure. Mm. And then we can also uh, be treating um, bulk, bulk heating high energy delivery type treatments for skin tightening and so on and even then it just leaves you with like a little bit of redness for at most 24 hours so the idea is that we we have a, a more we have a precision treatment that doesn't damage the surface of the skin we're able to now deliver these energies underneath the skin wow. um, and um, this helps to minimize downtimes for the effects that you're getting the stimulation that you're getting and this is a, makes it a little bit different from lasers for example right. where these lasers have to go through the skin and how much energy you deliver and how deep you can go is often limited by uh, the after effects it leaves on the surface of the skin. Okay. So like, you know, if you, if you have to deliver higher energies, you um, then be limited by the amount of redness or downtime 
that the patient experiences on the surface of the skin. So would you say that the Still Firm X is more efficient in terms of treating lines, fine lines, wrinkles, because you can deliver the energy with lesser downtime, am I right? Yeah, so I think that it offers a very practical approach to the treatment of these aesthetic yeah. concerns, um, especially where people's lifestyles now don't really um, have the allowance for a lot of downtime. So I think it is, it is efficient in that sense. It can, it can get the results with less downtime. I think that it's really very promising as uh, if we use it as a layered approach, meaning lasers are good at some things, and the silk firm adds a, um, another layer of sophistication and efficacy to our treatments. Um, and again, an example would be uh, for the melasma, for example, just to bring us back to, to um, a, a very difficult pigmentary problem. We still start with uh, prescription topicals. Uh, we still use lasers, but the silk firm has added another layer um, of, of a treatment approach and the idea is not just to um, reduce the amount of pigmentation, fragment the existing pigmentation, but also to reduce the inflammatory uh, triggers that produce new pigmentation. And so here we, we have multiple levels that we can treat. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we're quite excited. It, it, does, it, it has changed uh, the way we treat a variety of different conditions. And, and yes, it's made it more efficient and uh, given patients uh, a really practical approach to their skin rejuvenation. Um, I can testify to that. I've had yes, one session. Yes, you have session. tried treatment, haven't you? Yes. I've tried one. And how do you feel about um, it? I, it, it? I'm really impressed actually. I wasn't sure how long it would take to deliver results. I did see results after one session. Um, I did have a little bit of pigmentation, mm -hmm. but really I felt that it reduced my pore size and that happened really quite quickly after mm. two or three weeks. Um, and so yes, I have that kind of, kind of evenness that you're talking about. Yes. Um, that's very noticeable with very minimal makeup. I never mm. wear concealer, foundation all over my face at all and I think the condition of my skin is much improved yes. so when you're talking about you know treating isolated things but it has added benefits mm. of giving you an overall skin rejuvenation um, I think that's it's definitely a great treatment to yes and so for patients like you of course who are young and have very few imperfections it still does offer um, um, an improvement in the skin quality yeah. and so on. And I, I think uh, our patients, I mean, I was also pleasantly surprised, but our patients do, uh, are able to discern the, the improvements to the, the way their skin feels and, you know, putting makeup on is a lot easier and so on, and your pore size is improved. And generally they just look uh, less even and um, less yeah. problematic. Okay, so anyone who's coming to you um, presenting to you uh, with one or multiple things, um, they'll have a consultation. How many sessions? What's the sort of time frame? You know, it, are we talking months? Are we talking years? What? How does it work? Um, for the treatments? Yeah. Yeah. So again, um, it depends. Obviously, I think the consultation is quite important so that we. Um, can assess what the patient's needs are, but mm -hmm. also what the patient's expectations are. Mm -hmm. um, I think that it is quite important to focus on the patient's main problem. Like if they're here for treat, to treat pigmentation, let's not forget that there, there are a lot of other treatments in our, in our um, toolbox and we, we would um, recommend this if it was appropriate for them if, if I saw that there was a benefit uh, to them in terms of um, uh, results, efficacy, or um, if, it, if it fits into their lifestyle a little bit better, if they, they could tell, tolerate less downtime and so on. So I, I would plan a, a whole um, treatment plan for them yes. based on the first consultation, based on uh, conversations about their lifestyle, um, travel habits, sun habits, uh, and what their, their main expectations are, what they'd like to see about their, their improvements, and then of course assess the skin directly. So um, 
I, I think also that plan, I do like to use combination treatments for a lot right. of patients because I feel um, that way you, you reduce the, the side effects of any one treatment or the downsides of any one treatment and you see the benefits of uh, multiple modalities together. Mm -hmm. So, um, but typically if a patient, uh, maybe the best way to look at this is to, uh, to give us an example. So if I can, um, rosacea is an example or melasma might be an example. So uh, melasma in a 30 year old might be treated a bit differently from a melasma in a 45 year old who has other problems like mm -hmm. neglexity or uh, crepey skin and, and crow's feet for example. Um, but essentially we would, uh, if the patient came in and the main problem was the pigmentation, we would focus on that first. Um, again with the uh, prescriptive topicals, um, we would then organize a course of combination treatments involving the Sofamex, for example, the radio frequency microneedling and um, a series of laser treatments and we might alternate them. And we generally, again, um, run patients through a program of about one to two months with maybe two weekly or three weekly treatments, right. reassess the skin again and look at their response and then, and then treat the plan accordingly. Okay. Yeah, but generally patients will be able to see, like yourself, um, if, if, it's, uh, if their condition is relatively mild, see results in about four to six weeks. Mm. And uh, for patients who maybe have been struggling with it for a while, um, we're, we, we tend to want to give them a timeline of about three to six months. Okay. Yeah. So it would be different That's for helpful. everybody. That's helpful. And you talked a little bit about different age groups and it being suitable for different age groups. Yes. What about different skin types or skin colors? Uh, yes. Is that anybody absolutely, better suited absolutely, for? Yeah, or? Absolutely, that's true. So um, here again, microneedling devices do have um, an advantage over light-based devices. So the the biggest um, the biggest uh, drawback of laser-based devices for treating pigmentation is mm -hmm. that it um, laser-based devices and IPL or broadband light-based devices is that uh, you can't really use them or you're limited uh, to lighter skin types, uh, right. fairer skin types. Right. And the more background pigmentation there is in yeah. the skin for, for ethnicities or darker skin type, um, it, you, you can't really deliver as much energy without collateral damage to the normal skin, so that, that limits it. But with, with microneedling, that isn't the case. Um, and because we, again, are not affecting the surface of the skin, mm -hmm. we are you, delivering the energies using these microscopic needles through the skin into the very precise depths that we want to deliver them um, to treat the, the target tissue. So um, yes, it is actually a colorblind procedure and can be used on all, uh, all skin types uh, and all skins of color. Mm. Fantastic, well, that's yes. definitely yes, a bonus. Yes, we are very excited about this new technology. Um, before we get too excited, what are the risks? <laughs> um, so again, there are relatively few risks. We've been using it for uh, coming to six to eight months now and with very little problems. I think uh, once we set the expectations right with patients, that also becomes uh, less of a problem, mismatch expectations and so on. Yeah. Um, but uh, redness as long is, is minimal um, and it's, it's, it's never prolonged. Um, dryness and irritation, some patients, but again very few, at least are managed with topical creams. And so we, we, you know, infection is relatively unheard of in the time that we've been doing it. Um, and it's a sterile procedure, we cleanse the face, we take every precaution necessary. So it's relatively, uh, you don't need a lot of um, additional medication or, or oral meds. It's, it, it's comfort, it's it, just topical anesthesia is all yeah. you need. Um, doesn't That's take a too numbing, long. It's a numbing cream. It's a numbing cream. It's a numbing yeah, cream. No, you don't we, ingest we don't, anything. No, we don't need to ingest anything. We don't need to sedate patients. It's very comfortable, manageable. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and no, the after it's effects. It's non-invasive. There's no injections. There's no. no. Well, there is the needles, but there are, yeah. you know, very. You, there's no bleeding, for example. Yeah. We, we don't hit a depth where there's any bleeding right. um, with these needles. Mm -hmm. um, and these needles are they're they're automated, so there's very little trauma to the surface of the skin that you might get, for example, with um, 
manual type right. procedures uh, right. with uh, micro needling pens and so on. Right. So it's all automated. They come out at regular intervals, precise depths. The needles are very fine. Um, we find that this is really helped us. Of all the procedures that we do in the clinic, this is one of the procedures actually that we get the fewest um, problems with aftercare. Like patients don't really come back and and have issues or concerns with mm. prolonged swelling or prolonged redness. They, we, we don't. Uh, yeah. So it's it's been it's been good so far. The feedback, um, even as so far as um, you know, after effects and. So would you say that's the best recovery. aspect in terms of your previously established? I mean, this is a new treatment. Um, in terms of you know your toolbox, as you said. Yeah, I think um, we, it's a it's a treatment different. that we can go gentle and we can go strong. Yeah. And, and, and yet the, the downtimes are very acceptable to patients. So yes, it's that, that, I think I also see that as the way that aesthetic medicine is going, that more people are willing to, to have aesthetic treatments, um, but it has to fit into their lifestyle. And, and uh, you know, we, patients just aren't as tolerant of taking uh, long weekends and hiding out at home, yeah. trying to recover from a procedure. They want to be out and active and still have these treatments and I think if we have those treatments it allows us then to to do these treatments on a more regular basis people like in, in previously prescribed treatments patients would would take annual leave so they they come in for massive treatments once a year uh, whereas now I think we can we can do these gentle treatments and plan them out every six weeks for example yes. um, and very little disruption to patients lifestyle Seems like a much better approach overall. Yes, and I think I think it's been that, that is progress. Yeah, for sure. Thank you very much Thank for you. telling us all Thank about it. Thank you for it. coming by. It is very exciting. Um, come and see Dr. Lee at the Aesthetic Studio in Mount Elizabeth Medical Centre. Um, if you have any questions, send them in, and uh, Dr. Lee is here to answer. Thanks very much for joining us today. Thank you. See you next time. Bye bye.